All right, we're heading back in. And... He's not dead. Kind of just suffering here. Wait, what the... Whoa! I didn't do anything! I am what you seek. Want to help you. Alright, so that has a new look, I guess, if that makes sense. So, I've covered this a lot in the past, and at this point, this is going to be the last time I cover it. Subnautica has officially launched the Voice from the Deep update, which unlocks the Precursor Containment Facility, makes it accessible to everyone on the non-experimental build, and it should fix all of the issues and bugs that we were seeing while covering this and its development. So this is the finished product from what I understand. There should be no more bugs. And we will explore this as if we are going through the game naturally, I suppose? Well, without spotting in that key. You know what? We'll do it for old time's sake. Here, to me. Okay. Alright, so that trigger apparently made my game lock up a little bit. But you can see that the Emperor actually appears on your screen. You can see her, so... There is something more than some telepathic speech, like it is altering your vision and making you see what she kind of looks like. And you can see the first one was because we were so close. We could see the Sea Emperor very clear, kind of clear, I guess. But the other one that you just saw that made the game freeze a bit, that happens all the way up 1400 meters above this facility where the Sea Emperor is. Take a moment to realize how far that is, and what the real potential of this creature would be. Now that sound I thought was a bug, but I guess that's how they intended it to be when it comes to the sound. I don't like that it has it repeat four times in rapid succession. Now if I remember last time, this did not have sound when I mined these. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring a prawn suit in. We're gonna break down through that stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this in right here. I'm liking the new UI too. It looks really, really nice. Now I have that. Let's Welcome just go into this. Captain. We will break down through all of this stuff, which I am kind of confused because you guys have been telling me that the prawn suit is not supposed to be able to get inside this facility. It looks like this breaks a lot faster now too, so it's probably yielding a lot less ion crystal. But you guys said that this prawn suit shouldn't actually make it inside the antechamber, so how... Do we even access this? I don't know. Let's take a look. Alright, sounded pretty cool. At least I don't think this was a sound in the vi I can't remember. I feel like I remember if this was a thing or not. Ooh, it takes a while too to make it again. Oh yeah, it's not an instant thing anymore. It takes a while for this to make the uh, the crystals now. Look at that. It's taking a really long time. Holy shit. I'll be 90 by the time this is done. Maybe it's just the moon pool that you cannot bring the exosuit into. I could be wrong on that one. You guys correct me anyways if I am wrong on it. This looks like it's almost done. Now my question too is if this thing creates ion crystals, the most powerful source of energy you can harness on this entire world. To our knowledge anyways. Well then what the hell power is this? What what are they is it like a giant ion crystal? That would be inside this powering it? I mean it is surging ion energy, so seems like it constantly makes the that's one bug it has to be. You can still hear it making the crystals. Alright, well, that seems to be a bug. Everything else here seems to be the same. I'm not sure if we're actually gonna see anything different with anything in this facility except what the hell is this I don't remember this being a thing what is this 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 case didn't have anything alien relic this relic is unpowered suggesting it serves a ceremonial rather than practical purpose the pyramid resembles an organic growth 
While the stone at the head exhibits a warm blue light, it may represent a planet found on the alien's home world or even reflect the gravitational pull of their home's solar system. Hmm. So, this alien home world, why would they add anything to do with the alien home world? In... Maybe it's just like... That's weird. Maybe... It may represent a planet found on the alien's home world. So, a planet around the alien's home world. A pillar. That's really, really weird. The home solar system of the precursor world. Which I don't think we will ever get to see that. Because that's way too in-depth. And I think that's a project even too big for the Subnautica developers. But maybe... Maybe they have plans to make something a little bit more rational. That's kind of intriguing to me. That's, that's really intriguing to me. So, this represents the organic growth... This represents the gravitational pull of the home world, possibly. You guys let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'm actually really curious. I'm going to read down through every comment I get. Holy crap. That's that's mind-boggling. That's, that's, wow. So, besides that artifact being different, we just have the generic ones over here. And then over here, too, we have the world, well, the Galaxy Destroyer and all of that stuff. Now, this one is still empty. I figured they would have put something in that, but I guess not. Those relics are good. Now, I don't think you can pick up the hatching enzymes either. Uh, I tried it yesterday, I think, and it was—it said it was not implemented yet, which was kind of weird for them to have that and then push it to the live live game. But I mean, I guess I'm not—I'm not going to question it. Now, this place has sound too. You can actually hear the whooshing of the water and like the deep base of the flow of the uh, of the water and stuff. That's looking pretty good. That's another piece of updated stuff in this facility. So it's looking pretty polished then. Now the rest of these rooms are teleporters. That's a teleporter. I believe that's a teleporter. That's a teleporter and that is a teleporter. And you guys said they go to the other alien facilities as well. So I will take your word for that. And I guess my seed theory is completely debunked. Now, someone did say, a lot of you did say, actually, that there's the fetus. A lot of you did say that the seeds, three out of four, could be found inside the Sea Emperor's Aquarium. So I don't know how true that is or not, but I will take your word for that as well, because so many people said the same thing. And I will believe that. It seems like there is nothing else really different. I will go into the egg... Jesus. That scared the shit out of me. God damn. Oh. I will go into the egg room. And I will take a look-see. And see if anything is different in here. Hello. Hi. How you guys doing? Oh, there's an egg being held in the air now in this. Now, what did they have... Why were they studying the eggs? That's my question. Did you guys just see that? Or was that just me? Because I swear I just saw something big swim down there. Through the through the facility. Maybe that's just... Maybe I saw something in the corner of my eye. That was weird. I swear I saw something there. Okay, well, anyway. What am I stuck on? Oh. Huh. The pipe... Wait, what the shit... Oh, that's weird. Okay, so, doesn't seem like much has changed in the egg room. Everything is kind of prepared or preserved. I don't know if these eggs are savable. Like, if you took them out, would they be, like, were they were they cryogenically frozen or some shit? Or, or preserved or whatever? Sus suspend an animation, I think, is what I'm trying to say. Cryogenically frozen would destroy the DNA inside the eggs, actually. It would make it, like, freeze because of ice crystals and shit. But I am going to go in here now, and we're going to see everything to do with the Sea Emperor... Nope. Uh, with the Sea Emperor and the final state of it, and possibly the death, if that's even in. Someone said if I enter the portal twice, I should see it dead at the very last moment or some shit. Let me go in here. A bam! Hello! Hi! I'm back again! I've been paying this thing a lot of visits lately, like it's never lonely. Alright, let's see if anything's different. Are you here to play? 
The others came but played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, I have you. All right. So it seems like she doesn't leave the platform now unless you move away. Whoa, hang on. Is that new detailing on her face? On her mouth? No, I don't think it is. Seems like they slowed this down a little bit. She doesn't just cut down to the point anymore. So she likes a little bit of foreplay, which is okay. Or he. I'm not assuming genders, but I'm pretty sure at this point you guys all agree it's a she. Because, well, there were so many people arguing that. We just go down here. I'm going to bring in some crystals. And I'm going to unlock this right here. Oh, here she is. And she doesn't do the bug anymore where she jumps over there and then sits down. All right. I'm doing this for you. Kabam! My young want to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. It was a lot more complete now. The others had ways of giving passage to the outside. I asked them for this. Not here. If you can hear, you can help. If you can help, I will tell what the others want. All right, that's cool. Let's go ahead and throw this crystal in here to activate the portal. You gave me what I asked for. I give you what you seek. My young cannot be forced from their shells. They must be coaxed. This is what the others could not see. I give you this secret willingly. I hope I will not be disappointed again. All right, new animations for that too, so she just doesn't teleport there anymore. Seems like everything has been smoothed out and she's not teleporting or doing any glitching at all. It is nice. The animations are great. They're smooth. Oh, it is so nice. It is such a good job. There's the hatching enzymes. Oh, here come the eggs. They're hatching. They've changed these and completely fixed them too. Nice. Yo, that is nice. That is the miracle of life right there in birth or breaking out of a super strong shell, I guess. Yeah, that. So let's see, do they, are they going to morph into like giant monstrous babies now randomly? Or are they going to pause? Oh, they're pausing. They're turning. I think they, did they change size? I'm pretty sure they changed size and now their sizes are different. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's not, it's like nuzzling against its mom. Oh, look at that. Yo, they actually do different stuff now. That is so nice. And they, he's swimming for the portal. Oh, they just went down small again. What the shit are you doing? Are you okay? Junior, you gotta, you gotta calm down, Junior. All right, here it comes. That looks way more fluid now. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. Perhaps next we meet. I will be an ocean current. I will carry seeds to new lands or a creature so small it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. That's pretty nice then. I like that. Kind of ish. Let's see if we can pick up these enzymes or are they still saying not implemented yet? Not implemented yet so we can't actually cure ourselves. What a tease. What a tease. That sucks ass. All right, so these guys are going to swim through the portal along with me. And I am then going to see if she is gone once I come back. Well, not gone, but like dead, if that makes sense. Hunched over like she's dying. All right. Oh, she's hunched over. She's not doing too good. It's okay, little emperor. You, 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 can, you can go. You've done what you needed to do. Completely and totally exhausted. Look at that. And the eyes don't bug out anymore either, it seems. Oh, that is so sad. It's jaw slack and everything. Oh, it looks so hurt. It looks like it's it's been mortally wounded. All right, I'm going to leave one more time and I'm going to come back. I did hear from some of you guys that if you leave the second time and come back, it should be dead. So, here's to it, I guess. What if we come back and it's just a skeleton of a sea emperor? That'd be, oh my god, that'd be horrible. Like, holy shit, things were hungry in there.
All right, we're heading back in. And... He's not dead. Kind of just suffering here. Wait, what the... Whoa. What are you? Mm, what? Huh? I didn't do anything. What? I didn't... Why did that play? Why did why did that I'm I'm confused. Why would it why did it just do that if I'm next to it like I can see it? Why transfer your face and use all that energy to contact me? Maybe I activated another trigger at the gun when I went there? Could that be it? That might be it. That's weird. Okay, well, anyways, guys, let me know if you want to see more stuff on Subnautica in the future. Because, uh, I'm done covering all of the update stuff here. I will not be revisiting the Precursor Prison past this point because this is the finalized stuff that happened with it. And, well, I mean, this is basically done. Next, we're on to the rocket, I believe, which is how we leave the planet and, uh, well, save ourselves from... Oh, yeah, we have to cure ourselves, too, of the Karar, um, which they want to do... A, hmm. I'll show you guys what I mean, because, like, it's hard to explain. It's like liquid in space. There's a video on YouTube, and I'll show you it here for a couple seconds, because copyright is a thing. But, uh, I'll show you how they want the enzymes to be, and it's supposed to be, like, a ball of water in space where, like, it's floating around, and it's, like, a really gelatinous type of material, if that makes sense. Does that make sense to you guys? It makes sense to me. Oh, well, either way, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, I will see you in the next video.